to you. As you can see, I have a black eye, and that actually happened last Sunday. Um, I was really, really sick. Blaming Francis. Francis made me sick because she had some virus. Then I got it on Friday night. I thought I was fine on Sunday morning. Went to go get a coffee, opened the car door, and literally had a dizzy spell. Fell, smacked my eye off the corner of the door, and this is my first ever black eye. Obviously, it's much better now because that was a week ago. A few things we need before we get started we need a flask of black coffee. Just had a bowl of porridge, so I'm feeling ready. I'm gonna get my headphones. Whilst I'm getting those, I'm gonna play my new intro, so you can enjoy that whilst I get my coffee. Here it is. I hope you like it. It's very cheesy, but YouTube is cheesy, so that's all that matters. So I'm going in with the intro in three, two, one. Sailing like we on the ship. So don't you worry about it. Headphones, got my flask of coffee, and we are ready to go. The initial step is just to use the jet wash and go around the car, take off any excess dirt, and then we'll get the soap and sponge out. So I'll show you the products now. That is the initial rinse done. We've took off all the excess dirt and now it's time to get to the sponge and shampoo. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna do the wheels because the wheels are always the worst. My hands are freezing. First step with the wheels is to use this product here. This is all the glim clean wheels. So what we're gonna do is just spray the wheels with this and then we'll leave it on for about five minutes whilst I'm getting the bucket of water with shampoo and then it'll be time to rinse it off. I also like to use this on the exhausts because the exhausts are always pretty bad and it's pretty tough to clean them. Always do the front wheels first because they're usually the worst and just gives the acid a little bit of time to loosen up the dirt. <sighs> because that was so annoying, I got a replacement spray for the top so now this one works perfect. Final wheel. Try if you can not to get too much over spray because if it blows and drifts in the wind and goes in your eyes, it's actually really quite sore. Try not to get it on any of the paintwork around the outside of the rim. It's okay on the tires, but just avoid any of the external paintwork. So if you do get it on there, just give it a quick spray off and it'll be fine. Gonna leave that on for a couple of minutes. Um, you just put your hand inside it. It's like a sponge. It means you can get right in between the rims, so that's good. And then use this. Once in a while, you don't have to do it every single time, but if you can get in to the actual arch of the rim, then do do it every now and then. As you can see, it's quite tricky. It's my iPhone on the floor, the nice wet floor. Just give it a quick rinse with the power wash. Now, that wheel is so clean, I won't eat my dinner off it. exhausts so I'm gonna use a bit more of the wheel cleaner spray it on quite rough quite tough bristle brush which I'll be using to scrub the exhaust with don't recommend that you use this anywhere else on the car get a bit wet and agitate the dirt
This is what we use. Auto Glim Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner. So, all we've done there is clean the full back of the car and the full right side of the car. So I've sectioned it off like that. Next we'll do the full front of the car and the left of the car. So what I'm going to do now is quickly jet wash all the soap off so that it doesn't leave stains and then we'll move on to the next side. Whatever you do when you're finished with the bucket of soap, never ever pour it over the car. It's like, why would you ever pour all the dirt that you've just cleaned off back over the car at the end? So. Uh, I know a lot of people don't normally go any further than this, but it's extremely important to dry your car. What we're gonna do today is cut a few steps out I would usually polish and wax the car because it hasn't been cleaned for such a long time but we're not going to bother with that today because it's absolutely freezing. We're going to use this and um, this is Auto Glim Rapid Aqua Wax. So what you do is you apply this to the car whilst it's still wet and then you use a chamois which you use to dry the car. What you do is you want to get this cloth damp, no good when it's dry, it's absolutely useless and we're going to spray the entire car with the aqua wax and we're going to dry the car off using the chamois. Also, remember to always bring this out. Last thing before we get to it, I would highly recommend the Auto Glim Aquax, mainly because it works really, really well and Secondly, because it smells like bubblegum, which is unbelievable. clean microfiber cloth. This one is clean, it is just stained. It's auto glim fast glass. So basically, spray this on the windows, inside and out, on the windscreen, on the rear window, and just give it a quick wipe with this cloth. This stuff is really, really good. For the wipers, just lift them up gently and give the blade a wipe with the cloth and the fast glass and also wipe under the blade. We're ready to wrap this up. So I'm gonna show you the final two steps to make the wheels really stand out. Two products that we're gonna be using are Auto Glim Instant Tire Dressing. So we spray that on the sponge and just go around the outside of the tire. Pretty simple. And finally, Auto Glim Alloy Wheel Seal. So we just spray that onto the rim and then wipe it with a cloth. Now this is very greasy, so try not to spray it anywhere near the car cut. Just paint it off. Apply the spray. And then I like to leave that for a few minutes.
thank you very much for watching. I know that's a little bit different to uh, most of my other videos. I'm usually vlogging or getting my hair cut or something like that, but I've always had a passion for cleaning cars. I don't know what it is. I just love doing it and it's very therapeutic. I've been on that now for four hours, so we're finally done. Um, you could spend a bit longer, you could wax it, you could polish it, you could do all of that, but we're not going to bother with that today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm absolutely freezing cold, so I'm going to go get a nice warm shower and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. Love you lots.